when we suffer because of, of a situation, does that mean that we have ceased already? Or this suffering is just going to go through, we just need to notice it and... Well, it's a bit vast because there's a several uh, possibilities for suffering, but yes, there is a seizing. And if you look closely, you'll see that suffering is always reactivated by the mind. If you really look, look closely, you'll see that there, there are flashes that keep happening to reactualize that. In some cases of extreme suffering, it actually goes into the subconscious, so you carry it without even... You don't even have flashes in mobile, you don't feel good on a daily basis, and it means that it's been there for a long time. But usually it's something that is reactivated all the time and without realizing it, we're feeding it. Because once I had someone sending me a message saying, I have this this suffering and, and tells me her, her story and I told her, stay okay, stay right here, right now. So we do a meditation, meditation on the absolute now without a second before, without a second after, just now, and after a while, I asked her, do you suffer right now? And she said, no, no, you can't have suffering there. Now, heals everything, because now it doesn't have any regrets concerning the past and no fears towards uh, concerning the future. There's no projection in the future it, with the now. Do you want to go into details a bit more? Yeah. I understand now. I've I've felt awakening. I've felt the death of the ego. I saw that I was I had no control over anything, and since then I, I have a lot of suffering. Oh yeah, that's the cleansing, the famous laundry afterward. What you call awakening? Did it happen spontaneously, or did you have any practices before that? Well, I'd say I was quite curious, so I've cleaned my emotions, I've become quite sensible to energies and feeling a lot of different different things, so, so awakening happened spontaneously. Um, I've realized suddenly that, oh, I've lost judgments, all judgments. And the day afterward, I had, I felt like I wasn't within myself anymore. Like it was, I felt like I was dying and watching myself from outside and to have no control over anything. And it went on for a few days with an expansion of the heart and and I felt like felt like uh, recontracting uh, again. What you describing is not realizing the self, but it is an experience of, of expansion of consciousness. Yeah, it's not realization of the self because there's still fluctuations, like expansions and contractions. And and you actually said, I felt awakening and it's not something you feel, it's not on that level, but it is still an authentic experience. It does happen, what you're describing. Generally, it's those kind of experiences that push you to go all the way. So what, what it created within you is a desire for you to find it, this experience again. Well, I feel like I have a double vision to have an eye and, and feel things very deeply within me. So 
I feel like I'm confronted to very hard and complicated situations and then kind of drops. So it's a kind of a double vision, but sometimes it's very, very painful and suffering. So there's this vision, I can see this vast vision, but I also feel all those things, So and it's very painful. I don't know how to, is it seizing? I, I just let go, but there are moments that are very hard. That's because for now, you still think you're a character. If I ask you who is me that you're talking about, there's still a, well, came a mo moment where I rejected, rejected absolutely everything. There's nothing. I, I don't believe in anything else. Like a, a, a strong rejection, to, total rejection. Rejecting what? Me, life. But who is me? Well, all I thought I was. Thinking that there was, it's meaningless. It's, do you think that consciousness rejects the little me, life, and the world? No, I think it's. No, I think it's the feeling, the sense of believing. Have you gone through a very, quite a separate, uh, painful path and in, in, in your life? Yeah, sometimes that can provoke awakening to suffer a lot like that. This phenomenon of rejection can um, lead to the letting go of everything. After that expansion, there was this meaningless feeling about, I don't believe in anything, anything anymore, that nothing, nothing exists. So it's, it's being done, but it's not me. It's, I was very disappointed, I think, or betrayed, because I believed. I believed. You believed what? That I actually made efforts. You, you believed. Sometimes that's what, what happened. We believe in an idea of awakening, which is not what it is. Uh, but didn't believe in awakening. I didn't know about it. It's all this story that is coming back. I, I felt like I made so many, so much effort, and it doesn't exist. So it it feels like suffering for free. This is what hurts the more. Since I have the two visions, I can see there's a meaning, but also there's still a duality in some ways, and the dual part felt betrayed, feels betrayed. I, I've, been, I've been betrayed by believing, by believing, making have efforts. And the other part says there's nothing to do. It's not you, it's not about you. But there's still this suffering part that sometimes is, sometimes it's all good. And then other times, it feels like a contraction again, and it's suffering again. It feels like a yo-yo, uh, back and forth. And sometimes nothing touches me, because nothing exists. It all feels like cardboard, and I can see that at the same time. As if, And sometimes also I go back to situations. You know, a friend of mine told me, Maybe you didn't see that. That's maybe that's the reason why. But 
know that I felt like dying at some point. Those back and forth in, in awakening is quite usual, common, and it does stabilize at some point. There's a, um, still the belief there's something You, you need to understand that human life, the ultimate goal is to realize the self. There's no other goal. So you are, you are, you are on the, the normal path. This is what's supposed to happen. I, I'm not yet handling things anymore, but I, I go through situations and, and I feel so many emotions. I'm not seeking anymore, but. I think it's quite settled. <laughs> I've had my, my share. There's, yeah, there's nothing to do. But I can see those flows of, of pain. I don't want to grasp onto them, so I, I, I notice them, I see them, but sometimes it's very hard. And there are moments where well, there's nothing. Look, you have to look at what is stable still in the experience beyond contraction, expansion, beyond uh, energetic movements. Same with the sky, there's still um, clouds in the sky. So either you watch the sky and you, see, and you say, this is a very bad day today, or today is a very good day or just look at the sky and just let the sky be the sky. The nature of the relative is to be relative. Reason why I'm asking the question, is it because is there still a seizing or is it something that needs to happen? Well, it's the both at the same time, yes. Seizing can even be partly subconscious, just happening automatically out of habit. But it's important to accept this process. I, I can see it. I can feel like there's a lucidity about it. Well, that's not just an impression, clearly. It's just residues. So it is normal for it to surface and, and ceasing to happen. And it can be part of the, the path. Lots of people go through what you're describing. I've lost this illusion of saying, I am going to do that on me and I'm going to work on me. I can see that it's, yeah, absolutely, there's nothing to do. We are challenged sometimes. Situations that might be nice or not, not nice, but nice or not nice is, is just a mind talking. To, to beingness, there's no... Beingness is just, I am pure, I am, and there's nothing um, behind it. Like, I am this, I am mm, mm, that. doesn't exist to absolute consciousness. Consciousness sees and is pure welcoming acceptance. For instance, an image, the image is seen and instantly it's it's appearing and boom it is there it's appearing there but to most people what happens is like a nanosecond after something appears there's categorizing of what's happening and this is what leads to suffering if you follow that so within this the organism well, let's say, like the sky, there's a there's a weather. So just <laughs> put aside the fact that the world, take away the world, the body, energy, my experiences, my body. Sometimes people come to me saying, oh God, energies are so high at the moment. How do you manage? And I don't know how to answer that, for, because to me, energy is energy. Energy is not... Um, it's just sometimes it's contracting, sometimes it's expanding. 
And because it's contracting, we feel like we are limited a little bit more. We are, but even that is appearing within something, something that is not contracted or contracted. And of course, I say something, but it's just a word. It's not a thing. And sometimes there's a moment where there's a need for um, faith, to, uh, complete faith that the whole process is perfect. Consciousness that does all that doesn't make mistakes. Look at nature, it's all perfect. There's no randomness for nothing. Even the body, it's functioning is so perfect, we can't understand it. Same with, quote-unquote, on the spiritual level, there's a perfect unveiling of things. And in trusting that acceptance is possible, there's a total surrender. 